So here Molly and I are down at this 9-11 protest and we're listening to people talk about the families. What do you think, Molly? I don't know what I'm looking at yet, so... Uh, why, don't, why don't we call up Nico, maybe he can tell us what we're looking at. We gotta find him. 9-11 was a declaration of war against America and as such must be dealt with by military justice. God bless America. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll shout out. So Molly, what was happening? Well, I think what was happening is they're protesting the fact that they want to try these alleged terrorists here on in New York soil. And the problem is, okay, if they aren't terrorists, the poor people, they're not going to get a fair trial. And if they are terrorists, who knows what is going to happen? You know, I mean, they got to be tried somewhere. So. Uh, it seems like there's a lot of propaganda going on and uh, fear-mongering, um, but who knows what's really going on. Do you think there's any usefulness to understanding what really happened during 9-11 or investigating it? Absolutely. Would, now, how about this kind of crowd singing God Bless America and all that? Do you think they'd be open to uh, no. understanding? No. no. What do you think the purpose of this crowd is? For people to vent out their obvious to frustrations? To whip up support and... Support for what? to protest the fact that they're going to have this trial here and allegedly endanger more U.S. citizens. What do you think uh, good 9-11 truthers, since that's a wide term, would, uh, how should they position themselves with what's happening? We don't see any we are change, we don't see any uh, I, I think Alex they should Jones say there are no terrorists. But how would this, wouldn't they be like lynched and hung here? Well, but then that would make the media, wouldn't it? <laughs> Expose negative attention is just as good as good attention. Since we never actually met Nico Haupt here, what do you think his strategy was, sort of knowing his MO in the past? I don't know. It sounds like he got arrested. I think It sounds like he launched himself on stage and probably was, you know, Take it off and change. Maybe, maybe it was for his own good in a way, because I can't imagine that this crowd would be sympathetic to to an advanced. I definitely get three hearts and a cot, you know. What's that? Three meals a day and a place to stay. Uh, but what about those who felt that the no planes position for precisely this reason was uh, too advanced? Because we are changed officially. Always said, let's not go into media complicity. That that's too much. Go with the the softer version. Even I, I don't agree with limited hangout. I mean, <laughs> that's just feeding more lies to more lies. You know, it's like either you know what's really going on or you don't, and you present it, and people can do what they want with the information. But let's say these are the people. This is kind of the critical. Well, you audience. can say that maybe this was a theory. You know, and and you can. Ha but by the end of the conversation, you can't just leave them in a limited hangout. But I don't think that's what, fair. What do you think is a limited hangout, and what's the best robust knowledge that you learned in the time that you were... I mean, I'm, I'm not sure exactly, but I do think that exotic weaponry is entirely possible, you know, with sort of our experience with the harp, you know, that magazine that my father had, where they're blatantly advertising the wonders of harp. <laughs> Can you describe for people who don't know what harp is, what exotic weaponries are? Uh, it's not even uh, that exotic, it's just... Fingerprints could be, you know... Microwaves used in a uh, way to control population so that you feel the wave hits you and, and it makes a concussion and it prevents you from doing what you want to be doing, which is harassing whoever, you know. What about the actual destruction on the building, to make a building turn into dust, which thermite can't do? I, I think it's, an, uh, it seems entirely possible to me, but uh, I, I, my science isn't that good. Any last words since my camera's getting so wet? <laughs> Nico, <thoughts>? come home! <laughs> okay, so... the street from the... By the way,
anyway, this is across the street from the housing court where I'm going to be on the 9th of December. And we had a motion for cameras in the court that was denied. We're going to try it again. The idea being that we're photographed about 200 times a day here in New York City, so why not in our trials? So imagine wherever the trials are, whether they're military trials or whether they're, uh, you know, in New York, I think the important thing is, is to bring cameras into those courts and put that out on the internet, you know, let the people do it, because that's the idea of the American way, is to have public trials, not star trials, where sometimes people don't even know what they're being tried for. All right, okay.